Hello and welcome. Happy Friday. Welcome to the channel, Fridays with Brandon. And today what we're gonna talk about on Fluke Fridays, episode number 95, are the Amprobe underground cable locators. So we've got the AT6020 here with me today. Um, and we're at an industrial park. We're gonna hook up uh, with the induction clamp over some uh, power or some pole lighting and we're gonna go trace it through the parking lot, find the depth, kind of walk through all that. So let's jump into it. Okay, we're gonna start here at the junction box at the bottom of the pole light. And what you're gonna see is, um, we you can't tell this, but this is actually de-energized right now, so it's off. It could be energized as well, either way. We didn't couldn't find a place to make an electrical connection. So what I used is this induction clamp so we're gonna use the induction clamp hooked to the transmitter. And you can kind of see the transmitter. We've got several different capabilities with this. You can actually set just the box on the ground over where uh, it is and send a signal down. We will do that one here in a little bit. I'll do it right in the middle of the parking lot once I kind of find out where it is with this mode, which we're using right now, or you can connect via an electrical connection. This is probably the most reliable, but this definitely works, and even this one can work as well. You can see, if you are hooked up with an electrical load, you have several different, uh, different frequencies and capabilities of transmitting. With this one, you have two frequencies you can do, and with this one, you get only one. And with the receiver itself, a little bit about this, you can search on you have to search on the frequency you're going to be transmitting so 8 hertz 33 hertz both of those can come from the transmitter and then 60 hertz is obviously going to be power so if you're just doing passive and looking for a line power and then the radio read the user manual but that's a passive uh, form of doing it as well okay so i hooked this up with the clamp we're going to down here it is selected at 33 hertz i only have it on the lowest setting you can increase that if you so choose um and then the plugs the test leads plug in right to the side here okay now let's start by tracing with this so i don't have the the noise level turned on but you're always going to want to go um perpendicular so if the wire is running this way across the screen you want the device to be like this and you'd be scanning back and forth you don't want to go this way if the line is running this way hopefully that makes sense so i'm going to go around this light pole at a perpendicular to it so the light pole's in front of me and i'm going to kind of make a circular motion around it and see oh see got something but it might just be because we're too close. I don't know, let's keep walking. Because I was doing this earlier and I think over here was the better because I don't have any other light poles that direction. So I think it's over there, but we'll keep going, see if it goes back to the building. But you see, we got a really strong signal. The building is actually behind me where the power is coming from. And if we adjust the sensitivity, here we go, instead of it maxing out, we can get right over here. And you can see this is definitely the strongest signal we're getting right in here, okay? If you wanna check for depth, we're gonna hold this down for two seconds. That's why it says greater than two seconds. Oh, I might not be totally right on it. Oh, it actually told me six inches or yeah, six inches, five, five inches, whatever. Okay, so we've got that pull over to that one and we could see as we go along that if I go back and forth see how it points with an arrow until it gets solid when both arrows are solid that's when you want to check depth again and we're at two feet two inches okay and that's going to keep going to that pole and then on to that third pole okay now I tried to find it in the parking lot before this video and did not have success in front of this pole going to this building 
out here, I couldn't find anything. But then when I went down to that third pole, I did find it. So I'm gonna go behind that truck and we're gonna see if we can oh, find it. I know it the again. power goes from that pole up there over to about midpoint in that building at some point. I just didn't know the way it went. So we're gonna start here and see if we can make an arc and see if we can find a signal for ourselves. Oop. Maybe I should increase the sensitivity a little bit. There we go. So you see that? Two solid arrows. Hold down for two seconds. About five feet there, five feet, three inches. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to make my way that direction. And you can see if I get off to this side, I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm walking kind of like an S. And you can see I'm going back and forth over the wire. And when I get with both again, I could set it down. I am sitting all the way on the ground. And da, 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 da. hold down for two seconds. And bada bing, bada boom. You could do that all the way across the parking lot and that would work for us. Okay, so I turn the power button on and I hit the plus button to get these to go all black. I'm sitting it on the ground over where I believe the um, line is going to that other pole down there. And now we're gonna go back in the parking lot and see if we can find it with the receiver. And we know we're getting it. Oh, I think in the instructions it says you need to be at least 60 feet or 20 meters away from the box before you start um, tracing it. So we're doing that. Okay, to put it in perspective, the box, the transmitter box is down there by the uh, second light pole you see in the frame. And I'm between the second and the third light pole right now. So I know that these two poles are connected and we're gonna see if we can find it. So go through here. There we go. Got it locked in. Right there, the two black arrows again. And because we're in 33 hertz, we can find depth two feet, seven inches. Okay, so we found it between the poles. Now let's go out to the parking lot, see if we can find it where we found it earlier with that different connection when we're using the induction clamp versus the um, just on the ground induction. Okay, we get our two oop, black arrows, hold down. Okay, so I'm in a little different spot, but three foot seven inches. But I would say, all in all, I would say all in all, that's pretty good. We were able to make the Ampro AT6020 work with both with the uh, transmitter, both with the induction clamp and just the sitting on the ground induction mode. We did not hook up with the electrical connection, but in theory, that should be even a better connection. You do want to make sure you have a separate ground. And I think that's it. I'm really happy with this. Um, let us know in the comments if you've used this or competitors below, if you've had success or not. Uh, where are the landmines? Let us know below. And remember, if you watch more than three of my videos before, don't forget to hit subscribe. It helps the channel. It costs you nothing. And have a wonderful weekend. Take care.